Okay, so Binance Coin BNB. So a few hours ago, Binance CEO CZ posted this tweet on Twitter, Boxing Day with a Canadian flag and a link to this fintech money services gc.ca website. So I'm not sure whether or not that this means that they have now been approved for regulatory approval in Canada or if this is just an application and currently undergoing in the process. But when we go over to Binance CEO CZ's Twitter page, you can see here that there have been multiple people tweeting about this over the past couple of hours. Canadian flag, Binance, leading the way in Canada. Send BNB to the moon. Well, I'm going to tell you guys, that is definitely the statement of the year. Not just here in Canada, but all across the globe. We need to do away with all of this inflation. And our government officials or our regulatory officials need to give us true deflationary digital assets and do away with all the inflation. So if you guys are unaware of what's going on, earlier on in the year in 2021, Binance was receiving a lot of regulatory scrutiny over the Binance exchange. Now, before we get into it, I should mention to you guys that Binance is this giant entity and there are various different sectors in Binance's ecosystem. So when you guys hear me talk about Binance coin and the utility of BNB on my channel almost every day, trading with the low caps, the startups, the dApps, the projects, the layer twos, all the play to earn games that are built on the Binance smart chain, the blockchain, the mainnet. I am talking about the blockchain and the mainnet. This is a separate sector from what we're talking about today. And that is the Binance exchange. We know the Binance exchange and the reason for the regulatory scrutiny in various parts of the globe were due to what some people were saying was a lack of being a centralized exchange being the biggest global exchange in terms of web traffic volume. The Binance exchange, the derivative markets, futures trading, leverage trading, margin trading, the Binance exchange. Well, Binance took this serious and over the past couple of months have become the leader in terms of working with regulators and bringing them up to code and making sure that everybody is KYC verified. Now, here's the thing. You guys often hear me talk about the utility of the BNB coin and trading in Web3 and DeFi. And the thing is, I don't even use the Binance exchange. And being in Canada, and even if regulatory approval was granted, I probably still wouldn't use the exchange. I'll tell you the truth, I'm a noob when it comes to leverage and margin trading. But you often hear me talk about the utility of the Binance coin which I believe is one of the most deflationary digital assets in the crypto markets. And that's very big confusion that a lot of people have. I'm thinking a lot of Canadians still haven't jumped on board with crypto. That's because we don't have a lot of news outlets and government officials and federal banks in Canada talking about crypto and digital assets. But I truly believe if in fact we are heading into 2022 where we could safely say that global adoption has happened for crypto here in 2021 and the boom is going to happen in 2022, it will only make sense that Binance receives regulatory approval in Canada doing away with all of this inflation and actually giving us a digital asset that is deflationary and is burning. When we talk about the Binance Smart Chain, the mainnet, sitting up there with Ethereum. Heck, for some reason, there was an Ethereum ETF. Although when we look at Ethereum not being an exchange, just being 100% decentralized blockchain mainnet, and at the same time being mined, eventually if volume falls, supply goes up, volume goes down. Now there's a lot of other stuff involved there with who knows, maybe people that are vested in Ethereum 2.0, but it really doesn't make sense for us to have Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs and not have regulatory approval for Binance and the BNB coin. And if in fact you guys are only getting into crypto here in 2021, moving into 2022, the most deflationary digital asset with the potential to surpass market cap values of Bitcoin and Ethereum, Binance coin is a coin that you guys definitely want to be invested in. And being in Canada, you know how bullish I am on crypto.com and the crow coin because crypto.com is one of the only places that I actually can buy BNB because yes, I can access the Binance exchange. I can visit the website, but for some odd reason, I cannot deposit and withdraw money into the exchange. And actually in my earlier days, when I wanted to invest 
invest in Binance Coin. I had no idea all this regulatory scrutiny and all this stuff was going on in the back scene. All I knew that Binance Exchange was an exchange that had various tokens that I wanted to invest in and I wanted to get money in. And for some reason, I couldn't get money into the exchange, but I knew I had money in my bank account. And when I called my bank and I said, hey, how come I can't get any money into the Binance exchange? And their answer was that they did not deal with gambling sites. And to be honest, I thought it was very strange because I thought to myself, well, don't we have playnow.com? Can't I not buy my lottery ticket every other day on playnow.com? And we even have our own version of Poker Stars, which is an online poker platform just for Canadians. Canadians. So how am I able to get money on the playnow.com 24-7, seven days a week, but I can't get money into Binance Exchange. I found that very strange earlier in the year. Anyways, I don't think CZ would be tweeting about all of this stuff unless there was positive vibes going on behind the scenes. And so when we talk about Binance Coin, because if in fact you are in Canada and you're wondering how to buy Binance Coin, Crypto.com guys, I'm telling you, the most deflationary digital asset in the crypto market is BNB. Because when we go over to CoinMarketCap, and I'm going to show you guys this on CoinMarketCap. When we when I talk about trading the low caps, the startups, the dApps, the projects that are built on these various blockchains, Binance is a blockchain, Ethereum is a blockchain, Solana is a blockchain. When you look at the coins that are getting recently added onto coin market cap, and this list that I'm showing you guys here is not even all of the coins in the crypto market. We're not even including all the launchpad platforms, all the coins going into pre-sale. But when you look at the coins that are getting added to coin market cap, and this list gets updated every hour. Oftentimes, all you will see, not looking at the project on this side of the screen, but focusing what blockchain these tokens are built on, you can often see on any given day that all the tokens here that are getting listed are all Binance coins. And when you look at the market caps and the liquidity and the volume in these coins, they add up to the reason why Binance is sitting in the third spot of all of crypto. Because oftentimes when these tokens launch out of pre-sale, the only way to generate liquidity and trade when these projects launch into pancake swap is with BNB. BNB, the main utility in the Binance ecosystem. The potential of Binance coin surpassing market caps above Binance and Ethereum is inedible, guys, and a token that you definitely want to be holding. Now, as per my channel, if you have been subscribed and you follow some of the projects that I talk about on various day to day, and you're new to trading in Trust Wallet and in Pancake Swap, I'm thinking over the next couple of days, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to make another video, another tutorial, how to buy these coins and any problems that you run into using Trust Wallet and Pancake Swap, the DEX platform for trading the dApps, the low caps, the startups, the pre-sale on the Binance Smart Chain. And so over the next couple of days, I'm going to try to make another video. However, if you're having any issues with these platforms, like you can't sell your tokens, you can't buy tokens, you can't find your tokens, any problems that you have run into are going to be on this playlist on my YouTube channel in one of these five videos. And if in fact, you're an iPhone user, you're going to be wanting to watch this video here definitely because as mentioned, any problems that you run into is going to be in one of these videos. Now, the best way for you guys to be successful, of course, is to be focused on the daily because I showed you guys the amount of projects that are being built on the Binance Smart Chain every single day every single day. So the best bait for you to stay successful is to stay focused on the daily. Because although there are huge projects that start up in the DEXs, that start up in the DEXs and reach market caps above billion dollar market caps, like MetaHero, like MetaHero, a token that I would probably never sell, that I truly think still has a 100x potential, although past a billion dollar market cap. But at the same time, the abundance of projects that are being built on the Binance Smart Chain every single day, it is easy to jump from project to project. So the best way for you guys to stay successful, and I'm going to end this video here, is to be subscribed and follow on the day to day, especially when we're talking about micro caps with market caps in the low thousands. No risk, no reward, but that's why we love these coins. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. As mentioned on my videos, not financial advice. You got to do your own technical analysis. But if you like this video, smash that like button below. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.